What's going on, Scarlett? What, what are you doing? Oh, under there. Oh, hi, Andy. I think Andy wants to play with her butt cheeks. Oh, every morning our neighbor's cat comes over and Scarlett comes and plays. Hi, River. They're kind of besties, even though Andy tries to be big and bad. <laughs> hi, River. Oh. Good job, Andy. Good boy. Good boy, now you're being nice. Good boy. Oh. oh my god. Scarlet got her ears pierced yesterday. Look at that. So is that the butterfly? Oh, she's a flower on this side. Butterfly on that side. Yep. Everything has just grown so much in the past couple of months. Um, so we're having this worked on this weekend. By the way, it's pretty, but messy. Definitely messy. Look at all the like the pink um, flower petals down there and these weeds that are like randomly popping out. <laughs> you wanna go get some milk? Yeah. All right, let's go get some milk and then we gotta get ready for school. Good morning, you guys. I'm putting on my favorite, favorite lip gloss right now. It's the Buxom Pink Champagne. This is what it looks like. This definitely like makes your lips tingly because it is a lip plumping gloss, but this is my hands down favorite lip gloss. I've loved the Buxom lip glosses for years. So if you like a good gloss, I can't recommend this one enough. I'll link it below. But I'm going to start this vlog off a little bit chatty. I just dropped a Scarlet off at school and I feel like I have like a lot of things I want to update you guys on. But I hope you guys had a good weekend. We had a really good weekend. Uh, what did we do? I feel like we did a lot this weekend. Oh, Scarlet got her ears pierced. You guys saw that this morning. She looks so stinking cute today too. Let me show you guys. She looks like a little 90s diva today. Look how cute she is. I just shared this picture. Look how cute she is. I just shared this picture over on Instagram. We were like briefly talking about ear piercing and she's like, I think I'm ready to get my ears pierced. We haven't gotten our ears pierced because I wanted her to be able to tell me she wanted to get her ears pierced. And she's always been like, maybe when I'm five, maybe when I'm six. She's like, no, I think I'm ready. So I was like, all right, let's go. So we literally packed up our stuff and left and went to get her ears pierced. And she did so so good she was so brave she was not scared at all but some tears were shed after they had pierced the ears but leading up to the ear piercing she was so brave it was the sweetest thing uh, she was trained so hard not to be nervous but she, you could tell she was nervous but we'd ask her we'd be like Scarlett are you nervous and she's like nope nope not nervous but you could clearly see it on her face bless her heart she's the sweetest thing let me just quickly say too and I'm gonna say this for anybody who is in the hard phase of parenting which i know parenting is full of like ups and downs and <laughs> challenging like each uh, age has its challenges but scarlet has been so so good we really really struggled when she was like three years old and part of me thinks the divorce affected her a little bit more than maybe i realized or it was just a coincidence my mom says she was identical to how i was but last year <laughs> We dealt with like daily tantrums, very escalated tantrums, very loud, um, uncontrollable tantrums. It was exhausting. I felt like I was not a happy mom. Um, I was always feeling defeated and like something was wrong or I was doing something wrong and I just didn't know, like I never saw a light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm just telling you guys this because it's there. The light is there. It gets better. I don't know what happened, but when she turned to like four, um, she has just been a dream. She's so easy now. She listens. She's respectful. She does her chores. We haven't had tantrums in, I don't know, months. Like we don't deal with that anymore. She's seriously a dream. And I just want to tell you guys this because if you're in the midst of that phase of parenting where the tantrums are unreal, I do believe it gets better. Anyways, I would have loved to hear that because you truly feel like it's never going to end or things are never going to get better or they're never going to calm down on the tantrums, but it does. But anyways, what I'm just trying to say is from a parenting standpoint, Scarlett is just so, so good right now and I am just so proud to be her mom because she has just turned into this wonderful, smart, respectful little girl and I just could not be more proud. She's amazing. Okay, I'm going to stop. Anyways, that was totally off topic, but I wanted to share that, like I said, in case you are uh, in the midst of that rough phase of parenting. The other thing I did this weekend was a really fun project in Scarlett's room, which I'll actually share in this vlog what it is, but I have a full tutorial coming up in a couple weeks. Um, I'm actually filming a check it off with Caitlin video. It's been a while. It's been since December and I'm going to have that up sometime this month, probably mid May. So stay tuned for that. The other thing I have to go do today is get my blood drawn for the fourth time. So 
I'm gonna give a quick little TTC update now because it's been it's been a while. It's been about a month since I've done this. So if you're not interested in TTC, just fast forward all of this. Uh, if you are, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give an update and go into some detail. But we are on month eight of trying to conceive and I am currently nine DPO. I took a pregnancy test this morning. I know it's a little early, but it was negative. So I don't really feel that great about this month. We tried really hard this month, but I don't really feel that great about it this month. Like I don't feel anything. I haven't, I don't know, maybe I just haven't been paying attention, but I don't feel anything. Um, I don't feel like I'm pregnant. What I've been doing this cycle is I've had to get my blood drawn actually four times I told you guys three times but my doctor said actually let's go a fourth time too just so we can really track your like ovulation and your LH surge and all of that so every time I go to get my blood drawn I went DPO3 DPO5 DPO6 because they were closed on DPO7 it should have been DPO7 and then um, DPO9 which is today DPO stands for days past ovulation too by the way but I'm getting my estradiol levels checked and then my progesterone levels checked so that's what they're doing for each of these blood tests your LH surge should peak and then it should drop back down so that's kind of what they're looking for and then I have to go back one more time to get my blood drawn um, starting my new cycle so cycle day three four or five and they're checking so many things they're checking my testosterone levels DHEA FSH, so my LH, uh, my estradiol again, and then they're also checking um, my anti-malarian hormone, which is like the AMH blood test, which tells you like, correct me if I'm wrong, it tells you like the quality of your eggs. So I can't do that until my new cycle starts. And then also in two, two weeks from today, actually, I have my HSG procedure scheduled. So that, yeah, that's coming up. I was really hoping I was gonna get pregnant so I didn't have to do the HSG, but I really don't think that's the case. I think I'm not feeling great about this month, like I said. Ty started taking supplements too, so hopefully like between all of these things we can create a baby, <laughs> but we will see. I am not very emotional about this month. I don't know why. Last month I was super emotional. Right now I'm just kind of numb, I guess, to the fact that it probably didn't happen this month again. I don't know, trying to conceive is such a journey. It's such an up and down. Like sometimes I get really upset and sometimes I'm just like, well, is what it is. It is what it is. Even if I got a pregnancy, like a positive test right now, I'm pretty sure like I would feel numb. Like I, I don't think I would believe it, I guess. I don't know. I honestly don't even know how I would react if we got a positive, but I just feel so numb right now about trying to conceive. I, I don't know how else to explain it. So we did have an appointment also with our OB last weekend and um, yeah, she was talking about doing some kind of like exploratory surgery. And that freaked me out first of all, cause I've never had surgery ever. Mine is getting my wisdom teeth taken out if that counts. Um, never had surgery. And I was like, I don't even fully understand what the surgery was for. So if you know what I'm talking about, let me know. But basically it would be checking like inflammation and it, it would, she would really just be getting a good look at my uterus. 95% positive, I'm gonna opt out of that. <laughs> but unless there's like a legit reason I would need it. But she was trying to say that if we did something like that, I wouldn't have to do the HSG because she'd be able to check my tubes through that as well. But I think I'm gonna move forward with the HSG because we have it scheduled and I've had it scheduled for two months and I really like the thought of surgery freaks me out. Plus the fact that there could be nothing wrong with me and I would get a surgery for no reason. I don't, I don't like that idea. <laughs> I do not like that idea at all. She said that there's a possibility based off like what, like everything that there could be inflammation in my uterus. Um, so I don't know. That was the first I've heard of that. I don't think anything's like wrong. Like I don't have extra pain. I don't um, have like irregular periods, maybe like two days off or something, but nothing's nothing's abnormal so I am pretty like 95% sure I'm gonna opt out of that if you guys know what I'm talking about DM me on, over on Instagram so we can chat more about it too because I am so confused like I I heard surgery and that was the last thing I could hear so uh, I don't really remember anything after that that's basically all I have for TTC that's what's going on I guess there's still a chance for this month but like I said I'm pretty sure we're out so yeah we'll just keep being optimistic and see what happens in month nine feeling pretty optimistic about this HSG test because so many of you guys have told me that you got pregnant that cycle uh, after completing the HSG because you have to do the HSG right um, right after your period. I'm gonna head home and do a little bit of work while Scarlett's at school and then I have to go get my blood drawn. I think Ty's gonna pick Scarlett up from school. Um, and then today's Monday, Scarlett has dance. Hey, 
you guys ready to see the project that I worked on this weekend? So you already saw the wallpaper that went up, but ta-da! Isn't that so fun? So I have been wanting to do like a painted arch because she has a dresser coming. So the dresser is mapped out there, but it's like back ordered until end of May. I'll put a picture here on the screen so you guys can see the vision. It's such a cute dresser. But I wanted to do an arch above the dresser and I was gonna do one big giant arch. And then I was looking at all the paint samples and I could not decide on a color. Like I just couldn't commit to one color. I really wanted to bring some of like the yellow in and I just thought this color would be too much if I just did a solid arch. But I also didn't wanna do just pink because everything else is pink in here. So I was trying to like add a different color. And I thought, you know what? What if I just did three different arches? And I am so happy I did because I think it turned out so, so cute. So everything is centered to this big one right here. And I'll probably put some kind of mirror right here centered with this. And then the dresser will go right here. But I just think this turned out so cute. It is exactly like I envisioned. And I love adding some more color in here because I do feel like everything was just so white with the walls and the light paper is pretty white and the furniture and the rug. So I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Like I said too, if you guys wanna see how I do this, stay tuned for me to check it off with Caitlin video because I'm gonna be doing a step-by-step -step of how I did this and just sharing that entire process. It might be kinda loud in here, Ty just started the washer, but I wanted to share the colors that I used too. Okay, so here are the colors that I used. So the yellow color that I used is called cork and this is in a satin finish. So our walls are eggshell. I wanted to do these in satin so there's a little bit of a difference. Um, but yes, cork for the yellow. The dark coral color is called Priceless Coral. And these are all from Home Depot, by the way. They're the bare paints. So that color right there is Priceless Coral. And then the light pink color is called Ever Blooming. That one right there. I just got done getting my blood drawn for the fourth time. So I'm finally done for blood work. Um, minus when my new cycle starts. I waited for over two hours to get my blood drawn, which is fine because I got a lot of work done. I brought my computer with me and stuff. Um, I have to go home now, get Scarlet ready for dance. There's a Dutch Bros right next to me and I'm not really a Dutch Bros fan. I really try hard to like Dutch Bros, but I just haven't found the right thing yet. It's not that I don't like it, it's just, I'm still learning. I haven't found my thing. I like the soft top, so I'm definitely gonna get something soft top. I am just pulling into my house and obviously what I got was really good. This is the Golden Eagle half sweet and then I added soft top on top of it. This was still extremely sweet. I could have gone a fourth sweet honestly because this was really sweet, but it was really good. I am pink. I wanna 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 wanna. Just see what I'm going to see what. You ready? I know you've heard it all before, but you are the love of my life. door that you are the love of my life nothing's hard everything is easy with you around no bombards everything is easy my goodness okay so Scarlett wanted to look like Jojo Siwa what do you think Scarlett Good. do you think you look like her yeah she's obsessed you guys so That's cute. With Jojo Siwa and LOL, and LOL. Bop, bop. shutting the door for a second I have to tell you guys something I'm gonna say this really fast because she's waiting on me to have a dance party to Jojo Siwa before dance with her anyway Scarlett loves Jojo Siwa she's seriously obsessed with her and Jojo Siwa has a concert that's been rescheduled from last year and it's been rescheduled for this year in June. And so I just got tickets for us. My mom's flying in, we're all gonna go together. So my mom, Scarlett and I, and we got meet and greet tickets. And we are totally surprising Scarlett. She's gonna get to meet Jojo Siwa. She's gonna get to take a picture with her. It's gonna be a huge, huge surprise. And Scarlett has no idea. 
it's the hardest thing for me to keep the secret too because I just want to tell her. She woke up the other day and she goes, Mommy had a dream I met Jojo Siwa and it was the best day ever. So I cannot, cannot wait for June. Like I cannot wait to do that with Scarlett. It's going to be such a fun, such a fun experience. <laughs> Are you having a dance party? You want me to come join? Okay. When you call around okay i have jojo back here that's what i have to call her now but we're all loaded up ready for dance mm -hmm. it's your last dance class until your recital mm -hmm. i can't wait to watch her, her recitals this weekend i can mm -hmm. not wait to see her up there we're gonna go to dance class and then afterwards we're gonna go where are we going hold on <laughs> To the gym. To the gym, yes. Yeah, so we're gonna go work out at the gym. Today has been mentally exhausting. I haven't really shared anything with you guys, but behind the scenes, my brain is like about to explode with business stuff and just issues we keep having pop up with um, the business time that we're creating. I am seriously like very passionate about what we're doing and making sure that it is 100% perfect and everything that's going into our products is 100% the best so lots of back and forth today with our manufacturer and meetings and all of that so behind the scenes that's everything that's going on anyways mentally exhausted definitely gonna need that gym's time today to help clear my mind i think last time i vlogged we were in the car but it's actually like almost seven o'clock we went to that sun is so brutal we went to dance and then we came straight to the gym i just worked out i did a 45 minutes worth of cardio and a little bit of legs i'm like so sweaty what's up you guys we are home it is almost eight o'clock ty should be home from his muay thai class here soon scarlett's watching some tv in her playroom i am editing and I am going to call it a night. I have a long night of work ahead of me. A lot of things that Ty and I need to work on when he gets home. Anyways, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>